2020 is finally over guys thank god i can't believe it today is the first video of 2021 i thought it would be a great idea to celebrate in a way we've never done before on this channel so if you guys are ready shooter time What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us for the first video of the year. If like us, you wanna celebrate the end of 2020 and welcome 2021, that hopefully is gonna be a better year, I'm sure you will appreciate these five delicious and or festive shooter recipe that I got for you. At first, when I plan on making this video, I thought of making more, maybe 10, but as I wanna taste them all at the end of this video, and because of my low tolerance to alcohol, I thought this would be a pretty bad idea. But still, there's five to make. Let's start with the first of the series, a sour raspberry chocolate shot. This one is very straightforward, guys. It's gonna be equal part of sour raspberry vodka and white cacao liqueur. I've already made a homemade version of both on the channel. I'm gonna link them up here. But if you wanna use the red sour puss and the store-bought cacao liqueur, go ahead. These are just shooters. This is not like fancy mixology. It's gonna work just fine. So we're gonna go with half of the sour raspberry vodka and half of the cacao liqueur. Just like that. And this is how we make the sour raspberry chocolate shot. Second shooter, the New York Sour. That's basically just a mini version of the classic New York Sour without the egg white. And also there's a beautiful float of red wine. Everybody loves layered shots, so let's do it. We're gonna start by pouring three quarters of an ounce of bourbon into a cocktail shaker. To that, we're gonna add a quarter ounce of simple syrup and a quarter ounce of lemon juice. And then we're gonna add ice and give it a very brief shake. Then we're gonna pour it into the shooter then save some space for the float of red wine. If you have a little leftover in the shaker, well, that's just gonna make for a second shot. That's no big deal, depending on your glassware. This is the kind of thing that can happen, especially when you shake a shooter. So then we're gonna make the float of red wine using a bar spoon. We're just gonna layer it gently on top of the shot. And there you have it, the New York Sour Shot. So now let's move on to the third shot of the day, the Alice in Dallas. This one is another layered shot, but this time no shake, very straightforward. We're gonna start by pouring one third of the shot of coffee liqueur in the bottom of your glass. I'm using my homemade cold brew coffee liqueur. Recipe is gonna be linked up here. But as I said, for the first one, if you wanna use the store bot like Kahlua, Mr. Black, Tia Maria, up to you, that's gonna work just fine. So one third of the shot of any coffee liqueur of your choice. Then one third of orange liqueur floating on top of the coffee liqueur. Once again, you're gonna use the back of your bar spoon to help you making the float. And the remaining third will be Reposado Tequila. And there you have it, the Alice in Dallas. So now let's try a shot of White Russian. For this one, a little bit the same way as we made the New York Sour Shot. It's basically a mini version of the classic White Russian, but it's not gonna be chilled, it's just gonna be vodka. To that, we're gonna add coffee liquor. It doesn't have to be floated. Just gonna mix it like this. And then for the creamy part, the floating cream, we're gonna add heavy cream in a cocktail shaker. And we're gonna shake it a little bit to thicken the cream for a few seconds. And 
and we're simply gonna layer it over the shooter. And there you have it, this is how we make a lovely little shot of white Russian. The last of the day, another coffee shot, the Opal Cafe. For this one, we're gonna start with half of the shooter of Sambuca. I'm using a local brand, use the one that you like. And to that, we're gonna add another half shot of freshly brewed espresso. And we're gonna to top that with whipped cream because no shooter compilation is a good shooter compilation without a shot with whipped cream. I don't know who said that. I'm sure it's true. And there you have it, the Opal Cafe. So now let's taste them all. And let's start with the sour raspberry chocolate shot. Cheers, guys. <laughs> It's actually pretty good. I'm sure Sephra would like it. <laughs> it's sour, it's fruity and chocolatey. It's not too sweet because of the tartness of the homemade sour puss. Man, it's a cool shot. It's a celebration shot. All right, now the New York sour. Cheers. Hmm. This will probably be my favorite of the compilation. I love New York Sour. It's a tiny version of it. What can I say? Bourbon, lemon, sugar, the tannins from the red wine. It's actually a great one. Catching my breath. There's three more to go. <laughs> All right. This one actually scares me a little bit. Alice in Dallas. I feel it's gonna be a higher ABV. But let's do it. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's a little sweet, I must say. But it's a shooter, it's okay. Shooters are allowed to be sweet. It's not balanced at all. We're not talking about cocktails, so it's fine. But it could be a cool and interesting base for a flavor spectrum of a cocktail. All right the white Russian. Cheers. Hmm. 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 That's rich, but it's delicious. Y'all know what a white Russian tastes like. It's creamy, it's coffee, it's boozy. It's good. I feel like it's starting to curdle in my stomach. Tartness, creaminess. Not sure it's a good, uh, such a good idea. <laughs> and we're gonna end this one up with the one that I'm the most afraid of, because I must say, I will be totally honest with you, I hate Sambuca. I really hate it. And half of it, of this one, is Sambuca. So, wish me luck. Happy New Year. Cheers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh god all right Ooh. if you like licorice and coffee you guys will be happy you but i don't like it all right guys so that's it for me today thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much again happy new year and see you very soon cheers coffee dates yep can you drive me somewhere nope